Dengue fever is an illness caused by a virus that is delivered to the body by a mosquito. It's spread by uh, several different types of mosquito, but the main mosquito that spreads it has evolved from ancestors that bred in tiny rainwater-filled tree holes. And so as a consequence, this mosquito can breed wherever there are tiny collections of fresh water. And that means wherever there are humans. So we had a meeting here uh, in UCL, uh, about 30 people from Yale and UCL, and a little group from Queensland in Australia. Uh, the beginning, there was a little skepticism. How the hell are we going to do this? But at the end of two days, we had an enthusiastic team from both sides with a four-point plan of what we're going to achieve over a couple of years to try and solve this problem. The most exciting thing about it is that there were several people there, in fact most people there, who hadn't worked on dengue before but were bringing expertise from other fields such as structural biology and medicinal chemistry. And that's the hardest thing to do in science, which is to get people working across disciplines in areas they haven't worked in ever before, get them really enthusiastic and fired up about it. And I think they were, and I think that there's a, a, a real momentum now behind the project. The Yale Working Group complements the UCL Working Group uh, by providing um, additional expertise. Uh, Jorgo Modis is an expert on um, a dengue virus entry into cells, and he's um, working uh, with David Fairley and uh, Paul Young to develop uh, antiviral strategies to block that process. That whole process is driven by a protein called the envelope protein on the surface of the virus, of dengue virus. And, what, and we're intensively studying that protein and to try to find its vulnerabilities and, and just try to understand its behavior and how it, how it manages to drive this uh, virus entry uh, process. Ruth Montgomery and Mike Jacobs are both working on um, how the virus avoids um, what is called innate immune response, um, which is how cells uh, respond to viral infection um, and induce an immune response. So in my lab we focus on uh, immune responses in humans, particularly to viruses like West Nile virus and dengue virus. So dengue and West Nile are very closely related, but they give a different infection in humans. But we feel that by studying the immune response, we're going to be able to gain some insight into dengue uh, from the West Nile system. We're trying to understand why some people will have a severe infection and some people will not even be aware they were infected. My laboratory is uh, studying the basic mechanisms of dengue virus replication, and in particular how um, one of the viral proteins is involved in that process and by developing inhibitors to that um, protein, um, we hope to develop drugs that will prevent dengue replication. If the project is successful, it would mean that the Yale Cell Collaborative has produced a new treatment for a disease with no treatment. And if we can combine that with immunization, with vaccination, then, uh, and this is just a dream at the moment, but perhaps one could eradicate dengue fever from the world.